Cancer. This is a peek at your partner for the week of January the 1st through January the 7th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Cancer for January the 1st through January the 7th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Cancer for January the 1st through January the 7th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Cancer for January the 1st through January the 7th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Cancer. Cancer, this is a peek at your partner. So, Cancer, your partner has the chariot. This is you, Cancer. Uh -huh. Your partner has the three of pentacles. Your partner has the seven of pentacles. Your partner has the four of wands. And your partner has strength. So, Cancer. Your partner has the chariot. This is you, Cancer, but your partner is determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But your partner is determined to move forward confidently. So, Cancer, this is you. Clarify the chariot. For Cancer's partner. Clarify the chariot for Cancer's partner. What does Cancer's partner think of Cancer? What does Cancer's partner think of Cancer? Clarify the chariot for Cancer's partner. It is clarified with the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So Cancer, listen, I asked what does your partner think of you? Your partner may think that there's a shocking surprise, shocking revelation, something being revealed here. Or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Cancer's partner. Clarify the tower for Cancer's partner. Clarify the tower for Cancer's partner. It is clarified with the four pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner holding back, holding off, keeping something close to their chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coin, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So, Cancer, listen, your partner could tell me that they're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. Your partner could tell me that they're holding on to their coin, saving their money, being stingy, or they're keeping something close to their chest here. So, listen, Cancer, when it comes to you, it could have been some type of shocking revelation or a breakup, and your partner's kind of closed off here. However, Cancer, when it comes to you, I feel like your partner may be keeping something close to their chest, maybe some type of shocking surprise here that you don't see coming. Cancer, your partner has the three of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to your partner being willing to work on it or put in the work. So listen, Cancer, your partner could tell me that no, this could all be work or business. Your partner could tell me that they're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. Your partner could tell me that this is some type of an agreement or a contract collaboration, or there's a third party. Clarify the three of pentacles for Cancer's partner. 
Clarify the Three of Pentacles for Cancer's partner. Clarify the Three of Pentacles for Cancer's partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So listen, cancer very well could have commitment on the brain here. However, in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to a commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Now listen, your partner could tell me that it's ending because there's a third party. Your partner could tell me that, hey, they want to work on you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. However, your partner may want to have some type of an agreement or contract, maybe a marital contract here. Cancer, your partner has the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner waiting. And in this wait, they're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. They're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not they want to continue to invest, whether they want to reinvest. They're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of your partner looking at their coins, their harvest, their bank account. Looking at how much they have and how much they have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Cancer, listen, your partner could tell me that they're waiting on money, looking at their coins, looking at their bank account. Your partner could tell me that they're waiting. Your partner could tell me that they're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not they care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Clarify the seven of pentacles for Cancer's partner. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles for Cancer's partner. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles for Cancer's partner. <clears throat> it is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into your partner or your partner rushing in. Demanding truth. Demanding clarity. Speaking their truth. Spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So listen, Cancer, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Cancer's partner. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Cancer's partner. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Cancer's partner. It is clarified with the High Priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for your partner to use their intuition. But they may know something that they keep into themselves. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking. So listen, Cancer, your partner can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. Your partner can tell me that they're using their intuition or they have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Cancer's partner. Clarify the high priestess for Cancer's partner. Clarify the high priestess for Cancer's partner. It is clarified with the nine of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is your partner being guarded and standing their ground. They have a stance. They meant what they said. They said what they meant. They're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of out, or anything. But this is also a card of your partner saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of your partner having their walls up, their guards up. They're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So listen, Cancer, your partner could tell me that they're highly suspicious. They have their guard up. They don't trust. Your partner could tell me that they're guarding something. Your partner could tell me that they're going to be persistent here or they're standing their ground. So Cancer, listen, your partner could tell me that they're thinking long and hard or whether or not they want to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. They may want to be persistent and come in and explain here, okay? Come in and set the record straight here. This is what they're using the intuition concerning. However, your partner could tell me that they may be a little hesitant here, using their intuition here, okay? Like I said, wanting to come in and set the record straight, but for now, they're just waiting and thinking about it. 
Cancer. Your partner has the four of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Cancer, this can be about your partner's foundation, their stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property here. Clarify the four of wands for Cancer's partner. Clarify the four of wands for Cancer's partner. Clarify the four of wands for Cancer's partner. It is clarified with the queen of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this queen of wands. Now, the queen of wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or your partner is wanting to take action here. Clarify the queen of wands for cancer's partner. Clarify the queen of wands for cancer's partner. Clarify the queen of wands for cancer's partner. It is clarified with the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner's trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And they have all the tools and resources available to them to manifest whatsoever they will. They have the water element, the earth element, the air element, the fire element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, they can manifest. So listen, Cancer could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner's trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for Cancer's partner. Clarify the magician for Cancer's partner. Clarify the magician for Cancer's partner. It is clarified with the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. Very well could be dealing with a Pisces, but your partner could tell me that they're in the dark concerning something. Your partner could tell me that they're using their intuition or there's a secret. Clarify the moon for Cancer's partner. Okay. Clarify the moon for Cancer's partner. Clarify the moon for Cancer's partner. Clarify the moon for Cancer's partner. So, Cancer, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment. But this can also speak to your partner feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So, Cancer, listen. Your partner can tell me that they're getting their wish. Could be feeling smug here or overindulging trying to numb out. A Cancer, I feel like your partner is trying to take action to manifest their wish here, but I feel like it's a secret. I feel like for right now, it's a surprise, some type of surprise secret. You shouldn't be watching this reading. Uh huh. Having commitment on the brain here. Listen, Cancer, your partner has strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for your partner to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of your partner trying to tame their lusts, tame their passions, trying to restrain themselves, restrict themselves and hold themselves back from something. So Cancer, listen, could be dealing with a Leo, but your partner could tell me that they're feeling extremely weak here. Your partner could tell me that they're restraining themselves, restricting themselves and holding themselves back. Or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Cancer's partner. Clarify strength for Cancer's partner. Clarify strength for Cancer's partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into your partner. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus. 
a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So cancer, some type of opportunity opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or commitment. So Cancer, I feel like your partner has unanswered questions. Maybe they're highly suspicious of you. Okay. However, your partner may want to be persistent in coming in and setting the record straight here. It could go either way, but your partner has commitment on the brain here. So I feel like they're trying to muster the strength and courage to come in with this opportunity of commitment on the brain, but it's a surprise. You don't see it coming. You're not supposed to be watching this read. Cancer, this is a peek at your partner for January the 1st through January the 7th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week.